a quick tutorial on how to record with Zencaster. First off, make sure that you are using the Google Chrome browser. Zencaster recommends that you use Google Chrome. It will work with Firefox, but make sure that you use Google Chrome. You go to Zencaster.com. I've already logged in, so you're going to hit Dashboard if you're already logged in. We're going to hit Create New Episode, and we will name the episode Zencaster Test 2 because we already had a first Zencaster test. Wave recording is on. That's totally fine. Uh, make sure that you don't, though, archive your files as WAV files. I'll explain that uh, once we get a little bit further in. So you're going to hit Create. So now we are at the main record screen. So you see the waves going up and down. That is the sound of my voice. I'm currently on an internal mic. So if your waves are bouncing like that, then you're probably in a pretty good spot. If you have a good record level based on things that you've done in the past with your microphone settings, make sure that you have it on those mic settings. Zencaster is automatically going to feed off of whatever your computer's input settings are. Now, invite. This is the key. When you invite a guest, you need to copy this link and then send it to them. So we just hit copy. Now we're not going to have any guests on here for the first episode, or rather for this test video, but basically what happens is, is that you'll email that link and then once they log in, and they don't really have to log in, they'll, Zencaster will ask it to name uh, themselves. Uh, if you are originating the podcast, if you're on the Blue Wire Pods account, you are always going to be labeled as Blue Wire Pods. So then one of them will pop up, and you'll see their waves bouncing just like this. If you need to communicate to people within the podcast, if you don't want to say anything, you can use the chat function here. It's not going to have any effect on the sound quality. So once you're good with that, you hit start recording. And now basically what you're going to see is whoever is talking at the time, they can record right there. You'll see their levels. If it's at that level, then you're probably at a pretty good spot. This will mute your mic. So if you hit that, your mic is completely muted on here. This is highly recommended if you are in a conversation that you know you're not going to be talking for for a while or if you are in an area where you might have some ambient noise come in from time to time. You just click that to unmute and you're good. The key is when you're doing a Zencaster record, if you know somebody else is going to be talking for a while, just put it on mute. It's not that difficult to hit this button, unmute yourself. I just muted myself again and then unmute yourself. So once you're done with the episode, you're going to hit stop recording. So it's going to give you this uploading wave thing. And once that is done, you will have a couple of options for tracks you can download. Now, when you have guests, once you hit stop recording, you need to have them stay in their window until pretty much that is recorded. So once you say that, okay, got it. So you're going to hang up the call once that's done. So sometimes you run into this issue where you don't see the tracks. It's totally okay. Hit Zencaster. It'll go back to the home page. Then you'll hit Dashboard again. And then you will go into this, Zencaster Test 2. So this is what you will see. For every guest, you're going to see solo tracks. Download the MP3 one. Do not download the Wave one. So for every track, you are going to end up seeing that. There's a feature here called Automatic Post-Production, which is basically an automated mix of all of the audio that you have recorded. Do not, do not go into automatic post-production. Zencaster sometimes has issues where files get compressed if the Wi-Fi signal drops or there is an issue on one end. If the files compress, then the start of each track is going to end up being where the post-production starts. So, basically, you could have some overlap that is not fixable. 
So literally hit the purple clouds for all files. So that will download. And basically you download all of those tracks, however many that you have, and then you will send them to your editor. And that is how you do a Zencaster recording.